All right, welcome back. So here we'll be looking at uh, parabolas. Uh, parabolas, we call them shifted parabolas. It means the vertex is no longer zero, zero. As you can see here, things will change a little bit in terms of the formula. Uh, so for vertical, we still have two types. We still have the vertical and the what the parab the horizontal parabola. Now for that, the equation will change. You can see here, we now have uh, this one, which is x minus h. So there is a shift, and also there is a shift along the the y-axis. And uh, this one here is this one. So the formulas have changed. Also, the axis of the axis of symmetry will also change. Uh, let me just demonstrate a little. For example. We just demonstrate with the the this. Remember the vertical one. If you look at the vertical, if you're dealing with vertical uh, parabola, for example, something like this. You see, this is when the vertex is at zero zero. So, if the vertex is at zero zero, we say the y-axis is a. Uh, what is our our line of axis? Axis of symmetry is this line. Is this line, which is the line y is equals to what? I mean, the line x is equals to zero. But if you try to shift this now, so let's shift the center. So now let's take this center to become, um, not the center, I mean the vertex. Let's make the vertex to be this point now. So, and let's make this point to be our H, right? And, uh, okay, let's, let's even move it somewhere else. So let's say here is our vertex. So it means it's going to be here, is going to be H, and this is K. So we're going to have something like this. We're just saying if it is open, if it is open one, open up. So what is our axis of symmetry? Is still the line that divides the parabola into two equal half. So and it's no is no any other line by the but the line x is equals to what h. So you can see that is why you see here that the formula have changed. Look at the formula here. Axis of symmetry now is what is x is equals to h, right? And if you're dealing with a vertical or a horizontal parabola, let's say you're dealing with a horizontal parabola, what do you mean by horizontal parabola? If you're dealing with a horizontal parabola where the center is HK, not the center, the vertex. So let's call this, let's, let's assume the vertex is even in the third quadrant. So it means this will be your H and this will be our, what's our K. So you're going to have a parabola that's something like this. Yeah. So this is the vertex. So this is the line that will divide the vertex into two, the parabola into two equal half. And what is that line? It is a horizontal line. And it is the line y is equals to what k. So that line becomes our what? our axis of symmetry, okay? So with that, things will change also the formulas and uh, all of that. So let's just go and take some problems and let's solve. So look at example three, let's start with A. So the first thing we need to do is we need to we need to be able to write these formulas in uh, in standard form before we can graph. Right? So this is what we have. Uh, to rewrite this, you can just write it as x minus two squared. It's equals to, you can divide both sides by two. So this will become two y plus five over two, correct? Over two, then we can write it in standard form. Uh, what could we do here? 
yeah, we can take two out. So this two is common. So this is, we take two out here, become Y and here you'll have five over four. So this is looking like something we know now. You compare with what? So compare with X minus H squared is equals to four P Y minus what? Minus K. So if you compare this, it simply means that what H is what two K is minus five over four, right? Because we're comparing with this one. And uh, what else? We can see that four P is going to be two because we compare this, this is what we're doing, this one and this one. Then um, we compare this and this one. And now this case. So this is what we do. All right, so from here also, we can easily get what is P. So this means that P is just what's one over two. Now, P is one over two, which means it is greater than zero. And don't forget this, we need to, which, what are we dealing with? Are we dealing with uh, vertical or horizontal? Clearly, this is nothing but what this is, because the square is on the X, and uh, we know if the square is on the X, then we are dealing with what? We are dealing with vertical. Mm -hmm. Now, since P is greater than zero, this is going to open up. So this is an open up vertical parabola. You can see this is open up. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I don't want to just go to the use of the formula directly. So let's let's do without the formulas first and see if we can sketch. So now the first thing we need to do is locate the what? Locate the 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 one the vertex. So let's sketch this. So our vertex is nothing but what, but HK. So which is two and what? And uh, minus five over four. So uh, that will take us to which quadrant? That will take us to third quadrant. So no, fourth quadrant. So let's say this is two and minus five over four is somewhere here. So let's say this is minus one. So somewhere just below minus one. Okay. So this is our vertex, which is two and minus five over four. All right. Now that I have a vertex and I know what is P, remember P is what? P is half. Mm -hmm. So if P is half, all we need to do is to go a distance of P here. So, and what is that distance? If you go a distance of P up, remember this is, uh, this point is what? So this point is minus five over four, right? Okay. So if you go a distance of P up, remember P is what is half. So it's like removing half. So this is going to be this point here. So this will be our focus. And this focus, the X has not changed. Only Y will change. Y will reduce by half. So this will be minus now three over four. Okay. Then we have to come again, the same P distance. So this is our P, P distance here. This point is now be our directories. So our directories 
for directory is aligned. So uh, here, this is still two. And um, what do you do? This is minus five over four, then minus half, right? So what we have is minus five over four. Uh, we're adding minus half. So this is going to be two. So this is two over four. So this is minus seven over four here. Right. So it means that, but remember, this is going to open where? This is going to open up. So it's going to open up from where? Open up from the vertex, right? So now, but how wide are we going to open up now is what we need to check. How wide are we going to open up? We know it's going to be something like this through the vertex. Right? Something like this through the vertex. So if you want to know how wide you open up, that is when you now use the focal diameter. So what is our focal diameter? Remember focal diameter is just 4p. So, which is going to be four times half, which is what? Which is two. So, if that is two, then this is for focal diameter. It means from your focus, we have to go two to the right, one to the right. So, if this is two, this is going to be three. So, it means from here to here, we, have, we need to have a point here. Okay. Then, if this is two, then this is going to be one here. So these are the points that we will use. We have a point here, we have a point here. But remember this red point now, you can see they are on the line of the focus. So your parabola is just gonna open up like this, something like this. And then just, just move it. We're done. So just keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, and this line, where is our axis of symmetry? Our axis of symmetry is just going to be this, this, this line here. This is the line that divides the parabola into exact half. So this green line is our axis of symmetry, which is just the line x is equal to what two, right? I think we have everything here. We're done. But let's just write, let's just write the stuff out. So let's see axis. What is our axis? As we said, by formula, axis is equal to x is equal to h, which is what we can see here, which is just x is equal to 2. Right? And then we have the vertex, which is just h and k. And this is nothing but 2 and what? Minus 5 over 4. And then you have focus. What is focus? Focus from here is what we know our focus already, which is two, uh, but it has a formula, right? The formula is H, P, K. And all of this is just going to be two comma and what? Minus five over four. Yep. You see, we didn't, we did not use formula, but if you want to use formula here, you see this is H is two, P is what? P is half plus K, which is minus, uh, uh, what is K? Okay, we're thinking of focus. Focus here is three by four. So, mm -hmm. so you'll have five minus five over four, and which will give you three by minus three by four. So it's the same. Then directories now. Directories, you can see this is just going to be our what our directories, this one. So let's draw this directories with the green. You see the directories is y is equals to minus seven over four. You see the directory is always perpendicular. There is a right angle between the directories and the what? And the axis of symmetry. So here we will have the directories is just the line y by formula is going to be minus p plus k. 
right? And uh, this is nothing but minus half plus minus five over four. And uh, this is nothing but what? Minus seven over four, which is the same thing as what we got here from the book. All right. So I think we're done with the first one. Then uh, let's take the second one. Where's the second one is B. So let's see, this one is what value? So for B, it is what? For B it is 12, x plus y squared minus 8y plus 40, it's equals to zero, right? So first of all, is we need to write it in standard form. Let's start, we can see the square is on y. So it tells us that this is most likely, this is going to be horizontal. But let's try to write this. This is y squared minus 8y. And then we put the x's together. So this is, we take everything that has to do x, we take it to the other side. And here we can complete in the square on y. So this is this plus 16. And here we'll have minus 12x minus 40. And we add the 16 to this side. So this is going to be y minus four squared. And here we can take minus four this is minus 12x minus 24. And this is x plus what? Plus 2. And uh, what does that mean? You compare with what? So we compare with y minus k squared is equals to 4p x minus h, right? So if you compare these two, uh, what does that mean? It means that uh, this one, we'll have to go with this. H will be with what? With this and uh, the P's. These two will go with this one, okay? So let's equate everything together. And this means that your H is going to be you know, K. Let's, let's do this one. So K is what? K is equals to four. H is going to be minus two, right? And uh, we know that 4p is going to be minus 12. And this means that p is minus 3, which is less than 0. So this is going to be open to the what? It's going to be open to the left. Remember, this from here already, since the square is on y, we know that this is going to be horizontal. Hmm. So let's 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 graph first with this information. So to graph, what do we locate? We locate our what's now. Let's just bring out things first um, using the. You can use the formulas to bring out the parameters or you can go directly to the graph. So let's see this one. What is important is the what's the vertex. So our vertex in this case is what? The vertex is H and K, which is minus two and what's and four. So it means it's in the third quadrant. So somewhere here, let's look for it. This is minus two. And uh, let's say this is four. Okay. 
Now we know it's going to open to the left. So this is our vertex here, V. Okay, so since it's a horizontal parabola, we know uh, this is going to be our axis, the line, because it's going to open to the left. So it's going to be something like this. So this line is going to pass through the vertex. This is going to be our axis. It's going to be axis of symmetry. So you can see our axis of symmetry now is going to be the what? A horizontal line. It's just going to be y is equals to k. All right. So now let's see something here. So if this is our vertex, we'll have to go a distance of what? Of p to find the focus. So if this is v, now if you come a distance of p here, so this is a distance of p. Uh, what is that p? That p is minus 3. So it means that this point is, if this is minus two, this point is just going to be minus what? Minus five, right? But the Y does not change. So it means our focus is going to be our focus. Call it F. And what is that F? Let me call it F. And that F is nothing but minus five and what? And four. Okay. Then if you do at the same distance of P to the back, uh, you go you go to the right. If this is minus three, so here you will come to where minus one. You'll come to one. Because you need to go a distance of P also here. So this is going to be one. And that will be our what's our directories. That will be our directories. Yeah. So we're just gonna open up somehow like this. Okay. Something like this, roughly. But you know, we 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 can actually know how wide we can come by using our what our focal distance, remember. Our focal diameter is just going to be the line that passes through the focus, right? So it's going to be this focal. There. So how do you do it? You do the focal. Focal diameter is 4P. So that will be 4 times minus 3, which is around minus 12. But now you have to divide it by 2, right? because you need the distance from the focus so remember if this is if this is this is four you need to go a distance of six so let's let's not sketch it first so you need to go a distance of like six up so somewhere here so if this is four this is going to be somewhere 10 and this one also if this is four you need to go a distance of six down so you'll be around minus two here so it means this other point, let me use red here, these other points. So these are the points that will determine the width of your parabola. So now you go from where? You go from the from the vertex to this red point and also from the vertex to this red point. And that is it. Then you just keep drawing down. Drawing down. Yeah. Okay. So now let's this is Okay, now, before we forget, we need to draw our directories, which will be this vertical line here. Not vertical, yeah, vertical line. So this is the directories. And you can see what is this line. This is the line x is equals to, x is equals to one. Okay, I think you have everything, but let's just write down uh, these stuffs here. The first thing is that we know our axis is very important, which we already got to be. This is our axis of symmetry, which is which which line is this? You can see this is our axis, which is the line y is equals to what four, right? Yeah. But by formula, 
by formula, it is nothing but y is equals to k, which also is the same thing as y is equals to 4. Then the vertex, which is our hk, and uh, that is what? Is this point here, which is minus 2 and 4. And then the focus, by formula focus is P plus H K, uh, which is already, you can see, we already have our focus here, which is minus five and what, and four, without using the formula. But if you want to use the formula, this is simply, uh, just put the, the formulas here, what is P? P is minus three, you have minus three, um, minus two and four. Okay. Then uh, directories is given by x is equals to minus p plus h, uh, which is what minus three. So it's going to be minus minus three plus two, right? Uh, h is minus 2, so it's going to be minus 2. So this is just 3 minus 2, which is equals to 1. And that is what we got here, you see, directories, even without using the formula. All right. So I think uh, this is this is good. Uh, this is here you are giving, you have to transform first to the standard form, then get your parameters, and then you can sketch. All right, so let's still continue. We have another example here. So example four is asking us to find the equation in standard form that has this following, uh, that has the following ones, information. So let's start with A. So for A, you are given that the focus is what? The focus is the focus is 3, 2, and the directories is minus 1. So this type of question, you need to figure out what type you are dealing with, what type of parabola you are dealing with, whether you're dealing with a horizontal or vertical. So how do you know? Uh, the focus here is three and what two, and the directories is x is equals to minus one. So since the directories is a vertical line, then what that shows us, if you are dealing with a vertical line, uh, your directory is a vertical line. It means you are dealing with a horizontal, what? You're dealing with a horizontal parabola, right? So this is going to be a horizontal parabola. going to be a horizontal parabola. And uh, what is the focus? Um, you can have the focus is 3, 2, right? So here you can use formula or you can decide to just sketch, right? So let's see, but we know the focus. What is the formula? If you are dealing with horizontal, formula, horizontal parabola, the focus is nothing but what's The focus is nothing but P plus H comma K, right? So, and uh, we know that the directories, so you can hear we're just using formulas. So it means that P plus H has to be equal to what? Has to be equal to three. And K is equal to what? Two. K is equal to two. Uh, also here, directories directories is given by x is equals to minus p plus h, right? 
and this is equals to what? Minus one. So what does that mean? This simply means that you have minus P plus H is equals to minus one. So let's call this equation one. And then you have this one. This is called it equation two. So you're going to have a system of equation minus P plus H is equals to minus one and P plus H is equals to three. So if you add these two equations, when you add them, you will have two H is equals to two. And that it means that H is equals to one. H is equals to one. And then, um, so remember, so substitute H in what's in equation one. You can easily get what? If you do that, you will have uh, the value of H because we have H already. So we want the value of P. So I think the value of P is going to be two. Yes, so what I'm saying is that if you substitute, you will have minus P plus one, it's equals to minus one. So P is just going to be what? P is just going to be one plus one. So P is equals to two. Now that we have the value of P and we have the value, we can just write it in our equation. So we have Y minus K squared, it's equals to four P X minus H, right? So this is just Y minus two squared is equals to four times two and x minus one, which is h. So you end up having this equation, h x minus one squared. Okay. All right. Now this is one way to solve this, but here you can see we use the formulas for. All right, so let's go to old exams now. Uh, that will be in the next uh, the next video. So, um, okay. So let me just explain something briefly here. Uh, this question that we solve now. Well, this question that we solve, you can see that we used what? We used, we used formulas. So, but in case you are not able to remember the formulas do you can use the understanding of the concept right so let's see how we can do that This is this hundred now. All right, so now um, I had uh, uh, just a little bit of uh, hanging, but I think it's fine now. Now, what I was trying to say is uh, you can you can solve this question without actually using the formulas. Now, because you are given the directories, so the directory is a vertical line 
which is at minus one. So this is our directories at x is equals to minus one. And we also we have the focus. The focus is three and two. So the focus is somewhere in the first quadrant. Let's say this is three and this is two, right? So this is our focus here, three and two. Now, if this is our focus, we know the vertex will be somewhere here. So we know we need to come a distance of what, P. And then also we need to go a distance of P to meet what? To meet the directories. So remember, this is going to be X minus one. So the distance from the directories to V, which is our vertex, is going to be the distance from direct from the vertex to what our focus right so we just need to find p and what do you think p will be if you look here so remember this is v here so we need to have a coordinate here so that the distance will be the same so we need a distance um yeah so the distance is going to be what is going to be one because the distance from here to here is going to be two, right? Also the distance from one to minus one is also going to be two. So it means the P is equals to what two? And what will be our vertex? HK. Uh, what is HK? H is already known so this will be our vertex so this vertex is going to be h is one and k k is the y the y value which is still the same thing as two so so the vertex is just going to be one and two and you're done we just need to go to your formula and we already know that it's what it's a horizontal parabola so we just plug it into the formula here which is y minus k squared is equals to 4p x minus h and this will be y minus k which is 2 squared is equals to 8 x minus 1. So this is just by the geometry by looking at the information from the graph without using the formula. All right so the next video will be just some old exam questions. Thank you for watching. If you are yet to subscribe kindly subscribe share with your friends as well and also comment if you have any questions